This is a patient with a history of lymphoma who had an ultrasound showing an indeterminate uh, left renal mass. And so an MRI has obtained to further evaluate this. We can see on the T2-weighted sequences that there is certainly a, a T2 hyperintensive mass in the left kidney. It does look minimally complex. If you look at the posterior aspect of it, there are a few areas of T2 hypointense signal. Maybe there's a septation as well within it. But that's as much as we can glean, I think, from the T2-weighted sequences. It had no hyperintense T1 signal. And we'll go straight then to the post-contrast sequences on the uh, earlier phase. Not much uh, enhancement within this, maybe a little bit of enhancement within a septation over there, but really no solid nodular components. Uh, on a slightly more delayed phase sequence, we can say maybe there are more components within it that start to enhance in a very linear fashion. So in and of itself, it's not really a worrisome mass, but, uh, but certainly something that looks cystic, has these hypo-intense components, maybe a little bit of enhancement, certainly toward the more delayed phase sequences. This patient happened to have a history of a malignancy of lymphoma, uh, and there were some prior uh, PET CTs uh, to evaluate this. And we could see on those sequences, on the non-contrast portion of the PET CT, that within this, those hypo-intense components that we saw on the t 2 weighted sequences actually correspond to layering calcifications, and it really does have the appearance of milk of calcium. And then when we look at our actual FDG portion of the study, noting that the uh, radio tracer does get excreted by the kidneys, we can see that there's diffuse uptake within the cystic mass in the left kidney. And so these constellation of findings of a cystic mass with layering calcium and uh, radio tracer excretion within this are all compatible with a benign caliceal diverticulum, which is what uh, this ended up being.